The White Ass Emerging Young Leaders Program is a leadership building program for teenagers with disability, any type of disability. It's by the Disability Advocacy Service and we've just run this program to kind of upskill them and give them more formalised leadership training. The goal of the program is to equip them with the tools, the confidence, the knowledge they need to increase their careers, their education, their volunteerism, whatever they want to do. It's all about their personal goals as a leader. Well, what do you want to do in the future and how can we set you up for that? What's so special about this program is that it gives them the skills and empowers them and then lets them do what they want, which I don't think many programs do. This Emerging Young Leadership Program is for people with disability and we made sure it was designed by and with people with disability. Young people with disability have made this program and then get to be the beneficiaries of it too. As an educator, I think the program has been really positive, providing an opportunity for our students to flourish and to be able to network and make those connections has been really important. So our students need to have a voice and it obviously helps them as they become young adults in the community. You know, independence for our students is probably one of the key factors in them becoming young adults. When I was first told about it, I was not really expecting this, I was just expecting a uh, Here's what you do, what ideas do you have, and then just go off and do it. But I didn't think we were going to come back here and do it for like four weeks, but I really enjoyed it. The first week I really noticed the different types of communication, like, you know, sign language and devices, and, and I just really understood. And I just feel like as the weeks have gone by, it just really hit me that many people have many ways of communicating. The program started in cooperation with the Duke of Edinburgh Award. The Duke of Edinburgh is a, a very common award around the world, so they wanted to work with WIDAS to make the Duke of Edinburgh more accessible. WIDAS also thought, well, leadership's really important for, for young people with disability to start taking those roles as they grow and as they kind of infiltrate society and lead. And so it was a bit of a combination of those two coming together and both, both would get the outcome they were after. I had a couple of wow moments with our students actually sharing with the other members of their group, which was really special, I think. It's been really terrific that um, the environment has made them feel quite comfortable where they can you know, have a voice. The Emerging Leaders Program taught me a lot of things that I need just in life and it also taught me how to advocate for myself and others. As a leader, like, it's all about, it's all about others and it's not about the, the leader, him or herself. My best leadership skill is to support other people. After the workshop, I'm really interested in doing child protection. What I've learned here for the last four weeks, I'll definitely use in the future when, and present. Before the program, I never thought as advocacy as a career, and now I kind of know a little bit of my career path, which I want to take. It's going to give confidence, make up confidence to go out there and put my mind to things that I'm passionate about. I'm really excited to see where this program goes. Like I think it's for all young people who identify as living with a disability or with a difference. So I think that opens up so many doors as to where it can be applicable, whether that's in you know, specialist schools or schools that maybe have a higher quota of students with disabilities. There's just so many ways it can be applied and it's really exciting to think about where it could go from here.